Hello guys and welcome to Laravel 7 tutorial. So guys in this video we are going to discuss about how can we clear the cache of our Laravel application. So first let's discuss what is cache basically. Okay so whenever you are making a web application you have CSS and JavaScript related file and you are going to access your web application through a browser. So the browser keeps the cache of your CSS and JavaScript related file so that whenever you are going to visit your web application specific page it has those specific CSS and JavaScript file and you don't have to wait for the content of your web application to load. Basically uh, Browser does this to save some time or you can say to optimize the time. Okay, so uh, basically now let's discuss uh, where can we encounter cache related problem. Let's say you are accessing your web application and now you have recently just now made some CSS or JavaScript related changes. Basically you have made some changes okay related to CSS and JavaScript and you are not able to see them on your application. So this means that there is cache issue okay so how are you going to resolve this uh, basically we can do this with the help of artesian command and through route and let me tell you one thing whenever you are going to upload your project from local environment to a live server you are going to encounter this cache related issue so you must know about how to clear the cache and most importantly most of the time yeah, basically the cache issue basically you are going to encounter this cache issue related to your JavaScript files okay so that's it from the cache now let's discuss how can we clear the cache using our artesian command okay so I will move to my git bash and I have already accessed my ph uh, basically project directory and folder so what I am going to do let's uh, run our project first php artesian sir okay it is up and running let's see and yes it is okay now let's say i want to clear the cache of my application okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to write php artesian and to clear the configuration cache what you have to do php artesian config cache this is going to clear the cache of your laravel application uh, uh, related configuration basically cache let me just show you the env file let's say you had changed your database just now basically you have switched to another database what you have to do you are going to encounter a cache related issue because you had uh, some else database previously so what you have to do you have to clear the cache okay so I'm going to write php artesian config cache and the cache is cleared now uh, basically this is related to the configuration cache and now let's clear the cache cache clear that's it and now our application cache is cleared you can see now let's say you are uh, you are on a live site and you don't have access to your kit bash so in that case what you can do is basically you can use your route what you are going to do you are going to do uh, basically you are going on the live environment what you have to do you have to move to web.php and make a new route just like it route get and let's say cache clear that's it that is the name of my route function would be closure function right here okay and let's say Artesian call and clear cache cache clear sorry that's it okay let's print some message dd cache is clear okay that's it now let's run our project and run this route php artesian serve that's it Okay, our project is up and running. Let's hit the route. Cache clear. So you can see we didn't encounter any sort of error. So our application cache is clear right here. And you have multiple commands like if you want to clear 
the configuration cache of your application what you have to do you have to write config cache and if you want to clear your application cache what you have to write cache clear and you also have a route cache uh, and to remove uh, basically your route cache what you have to do is you have to route uh, basically write route clear etc okay so i hope this was helpful and in the next video basically in the upcoming videos we are going to implement and start a project and i hope you like this video if you liked it please like subscribe and share thank you take care